Um, so anyways, we're going to do that. Let's do tiles. So what we're going to do is we're going to get a tile set and we're going to draw a picture for our stage and then we're going to make these blocks invisible to see them. So the first thing we want to do is open up a tile and we're going to do that as a, I think we have to open as a background. We'll see. And I'll just BG tiles. And we're going to load it. And there's a tile set that is not there. By the way, one problem with Game Maker is uh, you you got to remember that if you go somewhere else to find pictures, but you want to get their Game Maker ones that come with it, you have to go to the Program Files Game Maker, and then we're gonna go to Sprites, and then I thought we had tiles, so hold on a second. Oh, I know they came with the tutorial, so there is a tutorial for it. So let me go find it and I'll load it up. Okay, here we go. Uh, no, wrong one. So I want to do the platform games. All right. So in here, there's uh, you can get this online from Yo-Yo Games tile set. So I got this tile set here, and oh, that's funny. It is not what I thought it was going to be. I want just that picture. Hold on a second. There we go. Tiles. <laughs> that's the picture we wanted. Um, however, there's some uh, interesting setup here. So I'm going to go to room, and I'm going to use tiles and BG tiles. So there it is there. Um, there's some other settings I need to do. Hold on a second. So what I did is I created a cheat sheet for the tile set and I forgot use as tile set. <clears throat> so that was an important part. So here we go. I'm going to use as tile set. So I click it. And then we've got tile width, tile height, horizontal offset. And I'm going to have to look at that so 16 by 16 and a horizontal separator of one because there's little gaps in those pictures so that that way it makes it easier to get just the picture and not the gap. So I'm going to click OK on there and let's see how this works. Ah, look at that. Okay, so if I'm going to do a tile set, so I get my background, I use it as a tile set and I can click on any one of these, get, any one of these blocks here and then I can click and drag. Now if I hold down shift, I can drag across. Now if I take this off, I'll see, there, there we go. So now what I can do is I can use this block and I can make it invisible and I can put it wherever I draw a platform. So, and I'm gonna have to make that block smaller, make it 16 by 16. So I'm just gonna go ahead and edit the sprite here and make it 16 by 16. Nice thing is I just have to resize the canvas. There we go. Blocks now the same size as the tile set. And I can go ahead and remove these um, blocks. So go to object and I'm going to replace them with the others. Okay, so I move those blocks and then I want to set blocks right where all of those tile sets are. And then I'm going to go to the object block and I'm going to uncheck visible, click OK. So I have a block there. I drew a, a platform and let's see what happens. We go to run it. There he goes. And he's on the platform. We can't see that invisible block. It's invisible. But it looks like this is a, a block here. So this is what tile sets are all about. And so we can draw a full tile set and we'll make some platforms. So let's do that real quick and I'll show you how we go. And so what I can do now is, so what I would do is get rid of all of my blocks and draw the whole thing with tiles. So I'm gonna put one corner here and then I'll get the other corner there. So what I might wanna do is draw all of these in various locations. Uh, let's do this, okay. And I'm gonna do a platform along the bottom. Hold down shift. By the way, this works just like, um, just like when you draw objects. Give it some ground here. And I'll just go ahead and move that along. Then we're gonna have this stick up out of the ground. We'll put a platform on top of it. Click. Just do a few clicks here. Add some clouds. Now I wonder if I can, uh, no, can I do more than one? Yes, I can draw this. Draw a few clouds here or there. Okay, 
Uh, and now I'm going to just add some back, some of those blocks. So I go back to objects, add my block, 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 block. So you can actually land on clouds because this is the happy guy, uh, happy-go-lucky, smiley dude. And then anywhere where I have a cloud, you can jump and land on. We'll put them there. And then we'll put blocks all along here, as well as going up here and across there. And we'll just run them along here. And let's go ahead and test it out. So there's all of our blocks. We got our tile sets. They're all set. We jump. We fall. Look at that. It's able to jump on there. And I can't go through that because that's an object. Oh, I still have the little. Oh, look at that. No, I can't go. I can't hit a block over it either because I have that collision with it. But I can still go off the screen. All right. Well, this gives you enough to go on. At this point, you can do all kinds of things. Um, remember, I did the. Um, Let's, let's put it back where I set the vertical speed. Let's make sure I can only do that if there is um, a block below me. So that's a collision at a position. We're going to move it up in just a moment. Y relative. Okay, drag it up one or drag this one down and go ahead and test it out. Now we shouldn't be able to jump in the middle of the air. Um, so once we're falling, I shouldn't be able to jump. So I'm going to try to jump, and I can't. I can only jump when I'm on there. Good thing there's that cloud there. And as you can see, I don't have enough power to get up there. So you're going to have to be careful to make sure that your game is playable and doable. Oh, I know what I did wrong. Vertical speed should be negative 10. Right. So make sure that vertical speed is negative 10. The negative 5 was for the joust type game um, or any kind of game where you can fly in the air. Helicopter game would be a cool one too. There we go, much better. And I can jump on there. I thought that was kind of strange that I could. And I, I can still go off the edge of the screen. Thank you.